It's Katie here and I am back with the last um, what is it 11 days of my December daily I did actually in the end decide to go up to the 31st which is today so it's technically not over yet but I have already scrapped it and you'll see why when I get up to the 31st so where I left off in my last flip through was the 20th which was this day so the 21st here was the day that I did all of my Christmas wrapping and I made bonbons for each of my family um, and so that's just a picture of the wrapping here so I'm having four people over on Christmas Eve and this is my nephew's bonbon which is which was literally about that big it was so cute but I made him one as well so that's the 21st the 22nd was my work Christmas party so all of these red photos are actually from a photo booth um, that was at my work Christmas party so that was fun uh, 23rd, a couple of things happened. My band played some carols um, at a local Bunnings, if you <laughs> recognise any of the signage in the background, if you're from Australia. Um, and my nephew came to watch, but hated it for the first sort of oh, 15 minutes, and then he really warmed to it. But at the start, he hated it. Um, and then my mum and dad arrived that day, and this is mum and I. Um, there's a street around the corner from where I live that's all set up with lights, and we went to have a look. So... That was the 23rd. The 24th, which is uh, Christmas Eve, we that's when my immediate family do their Christmas. So, um, yeah, there's lots of photos, uh, but that's because that's our main celebration day. So my parents got us, my partner and I, this kind of gazebo thing to go over our pool because we don't have a lot of shade. So, yeah, that's us putting it up. We wanted to put it up because we knew that we wouldn't be able to do it with just the two of us. We needed extra people, so we put it up. Um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. My nephew loved helping build things, so he was running around with hammers and spanners and wanting to help with everything, so here he is with his grandpa. Um, and then you can see in these photos here, I actually got given that, um, you know, that game, I don't know if you've seen it, where you have to try and talk when you've got these things in your mouth. It was very funny. So we played a round of that, and that's my sister, if you watch our advent calendar series, getting her day 25 gift. I know it's the 24th, but this is when we do our Christmas, so she was getting her Christmas gift. And then this is Christmas Day. So um, my parents and my sister and my brother-in-law and their son, my nephew, they all stayed the night at, at our place, which was lovely. So this was sort of Christmas morning. Um, my nephew's not even quite two yet, so doesn't do Santa or understand Santa or anything like that. So he actually only opened two presents on Christmas morning because we'd done the rest of them on Christmas Eve. But one of them was this ukulele, which he was obsessed by. Um, so I loved that. That was a fun morning. He's playing with his trains here that his grandma and grandpa gave him for Christmas. So that was fun. Um, and then we've got, I put in the insert that my sister made for me because it is the 25th of December. And um, because I had so many photos, I actually just stuck a journaling card on the back of this and did all my journaling. I kept some of the tags that came on my Christmas gift. If you see these, you might recognise them as the ones I made for Jess's in her advent calendar. Um, and I kept, I, I put this onto a, um, a card. This, which you can hopefully read says asks me ask me to go and get this uh, my partner actually gave me a gazebo for Christmas as well which he'd already bought before we decided to buy get the one from my parents but the one from my parents is very solid very expensive you know good quality whereas the one he bought me is like a temporary one and we can move it around the yard um, so he still gave it to me but he didn't want to wrap it so he wrapped this little piece of paper instead which I thought was cute and I wanted to keep it so that's that and I just put it um, on some pattern paper and then on the back of a project life card and then this is day 25 so uh, this was sort of Christmas afternoon and evening so I watched Twilight because everyone went and had a nap my parents left um, my sister and my brother-in-law and my nephew went off to his family Christmas my parents went off to see my grandparents um, and then we stayed and we spent the afternoon with uh, Danny's mum so that was sort of our lunch spread and yeah that was a fun day and then this is Boxing Day um, which again I know isn't a very big deal maybe if you're in America but in Australia it's still a public holiday it's still considered one of Christmas 
sort of period and that is when I celebrate with my extended family so I drove up to Bendigo which is about two hours away uh, from where I am in Melbourne um, and I went with my sister and my nephew both our respective partners didn't come this year um, and that's just some photos we took some um, snapchat selfies after we got home so my album's getting very full uh, so this is day 27 I'm still sick you can probably hear it in my voice but I was particularly sick over these few days um, so this is my sad face selfie me feeling sick um, and that's my partner we are building a chook coop chook area we've actually already got a coop um, but the run and stuff it's not big enough and our dogs there's not enough space for the chooks to kind of get away from the dogs because the dogs are obsessed with them so we're building the Taj Mahal of chicken runs <laughs> um, and so my partner's working on that and we just chilled out by the pool for a bit it was fun um, and then this was the 28th so I'd actually gone into work um, actually technically I went into work this day on the 27th um, because I was feeling so crappy I got sent home a bit early I did go into work on back again on the 28th um, but again I only actually went in for one meeting and then came home at lunchtime um, and it was very warm but I, I was that sick that I just felt way too cold in the pool so and then it started raining and my partner was he was like come in the pool come in the pool so I went in the pool but it was way too cold and so I had to get out um, but we let the chooks out for a bit of free range so that was fun the 29th was a big day actually um, my sister came over we wanted to take this photo which spoiler alert, you'll see tomorrow because um, hopefully this is going to go up on the 31st even though it is the 31st today um, and it's for our new intro um, that's our partner building the gate we bought a peach tree for out the back and now the 30th so this was yesterday <laughs> um, progressed on the um, chicken area run area um, so that's my partner working on that and then this happened I don't know if you can tell this is a hospital waiting room it's an empty one but it's still a hospital waiting room uh, my partner was cleaning up after he'd done all of this work and he had all of his safety gear on he had goggles he had gloves he had a face mask he had everything on when he was doing all of this but he was covered from head to toe in sawdust and when he was cleaning up we think he got something in his eye so uh, we flushed it we did all of those things I couldn't see anything I said to him I think your eye might just be scratched let's try and sleep and and close the eye and hopefully by the morning it will be better but at 1 30 in the morning he woke me up and said I can't close my eye it's too painful so we drove to emergency which where I am it's not a very big hospital um, so emergency was empty but it still took us so this was at 1 30 in the morning and we still didn't get seen by a doctor till about 3 a.m um, and then the doctor saw us sure enough it is a scratch but it's a very significant scratch so it is going to take at least a week to heal and so he got sent home he got it all flushed out he got some ointment for it so he's going to be fine but it's very painful so he came home we got home at 4 a.m um, and consequently we're tired <laughs> so this is the 31st um, so normally or the last probably four years maybe even five years we've hosted a new year's eve party with some of our friends it's low-key it's very small there was only um eight people i think coming um but because of danny's eye look away if you get grossed out this is his eye um we did have to cancel he's just in too much pain and uncomfortable and grumpy and tired because we got to bed at 4am and it just was not going to work having people over here till all hours of the morning so unfortunately we had to cancel our traditional new year's eve plans hence why i have finished my december daily now um so it, instead i cleaned the house i did washing i did all that stuff because it's a beautiful day here um and then i took this before photo of us my scrap room which is a mess it's an absolute absolute mess I cleaned the desk which you know you can see around you I've cleaned the desk um, I haven't gotten onto the rest of the room yet but I have cleaned the desk and then I decided once the desk was clean I really want to finish my December daily so I did um, and then that's it the 31st we're done and dusted it's only 20 minutes past seven o'clock at night um, I'm about to cook dinner and I highly doubt we will be up until midnight because we went to bed so late last night um, but yeah that's us 
And this is how I decided to end my album. Um, again, if you watch our Scrappy Advent Calendar series, you might recognise these. Jess made these Project Life cards for me as one of the gifts, and I've included a few in this album. And I only have two left, but they're the ones that are three by fours, but are horizontal, not vertical, and I don't use those, so I'm trying to work out how to incorporate them. But at the moment, this is how it stands. So that's the album. It's looking very fat. Um, yeah, it's very fat, but everything's there. <laughs> it'll fit on the shelf. It'll squish like this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I've decided not to decorate the front. I'm just leaving it um, in the craft because I quite like that and it's going to slide in between, you know, my albums anyway, so I don't sort of want anything on the front to get ruined. So that is it. That is my December daily for 2017. And it is the 31st of December, so tomorrow is 2018, which I'm super excited about. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful December, and I hope you have a wonderful New Year. Um, my sister and I are really looking forward to 2018, um, but you will see more of us tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see you then. Bye guys!